So this is Friends Don't Ask. As he's not a winner, he hasn't got his own head collar yet. So he's got the one of the legend, Arch My Boy. Now today we're gonna go out for a little canter and we're gonna lead one of the two-year-olds, Marani Kali, and we've got Alia Torek coming with us. Although the days are warm this time of year, the nights are still quite cold, so we keep them well rugged up. Now it's time to get them ready. The first thing we always do is pick their feet out. That way, if they're missing a shoe and they can't be ridden, you know before you go any further on getting them tacked up. There's nothing worse than having a horse tacked up, ready to go, everybody pulls out, and then you find out your horse is missing a shoe and you can't go with everyone. Then it's time to grab the dandy brush and brush their mane and tail. We want to get all the shavings out of his tail and get all the tangles out at the end. But we want to do it nice and gently without pulling any of the hair out if we can. So you, what you do is hold the tail in one hand and then with the brush you just gradually release a little bit at a time and you just brush a tiny bit at a time and gradually you work your way through the tail until you're all the way through. Then we do the same with his mane. We brush it over the wrong way first and get all the dirt out from underneath. And then we'll brush it back over a bit at a time, making sure we get right through it and get any bits of shavings out and any tangles out of it. Then to finish off, we just wet the dandy brush a little bit and damp the mane down, just to make it look extra tidy. Now it's time to do his face and his body. Now what we're using here is called a tiger's tongue. It's like a rough sponge. It's very good at getting the dough out from underneath, yet it's really gentle and it's got no bristles, so it doesn't annoy them around their eyes and their ears and all their tickly bits. If you haven't got one of these, I would highly recommend getting one. They're absolutely brilliant. Now it's really important to do the bits you can't see, like underneath their belly, in between their legs, under their chest, and also under their chin. These are the places that tend to get forgotten by some people. I can't stress enough how important it is that the horses get groomed well every day. You can't groom a horse once and make them look exceptional. To make them look really well, they have to get a good brush every day. Now to some riders, the brushing part doesn't seem that important. They just want to go in, put their saddle on, and they might just put some quarter marks on and brush their mane and tail to make it look like it's brushed. Those are the kind of riders that don't work for us. Now it's time for the finishing touches. First, we're gonna wipe him over with a nice clean towel just to wipe all the extra bits of dust off and get him nice and shiny.
And then the final piece of the puzzle, this is the bit that will most often win you best turned out at the races, is putting on good quarter marks. Now it's time to get the tack on and get him out. We start with an on-slip first to make sure the tack doesn't slide back. Then we have a towel or stable rubber. And then come the pads. We use two poly pads and we spread them out slightly so they cover more of him. Gives him a bit of extra protection on his shoulders when you ride with your stirrups short. Then one more pad, and now it's time for the saddle. Now it's time to check everything's in place and tighten the girth. And now it's time to put the bridle on and go. When I was 15, I went to Nicky Henderson's. Corky Brown was the head lad there and he told me, your bridle should always be the last thing you put on and the first thing you take off. And almost 30 years later, I'm pleased to say Corky, I'm still doing it.